Hey Tubes, how are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing today, I'm going to talk to all my fans about my HP computer and why it is still running slow and why I can't use it right away. Basically, it's one thing you have to understand with mechanical hard drives are very slow okay because in my laptop I actually found a 54 rpm slow hard drive that's not pretty fast that's freaking slow uh, basically but I did also look up my information about my computer what's in it and why I am still having the issues I have even if I go down to my local Best Buy and buy a brand new hard drive the only sell are 5400 rpm drives you don't sell anything faster than a laptop uh, drive if you want to go with the desktop, that's perfectly fine. The desktop drives will be a lot faster. But, of course, it won't fit in this. But alright. Here is one of my external drives. This is from uh, last year. And it also is a 1 terabyte very slow drive. Okay? But yes, I can also put a SSD in my computer. Alright. Let's go ahead and look at the paperwork and show you what actual came with my computer, okay? You think I don't know about computers? Well, God knows for you. I know a whole lot about my computer over owning it for about a year now, okay? But let's show you what I mean. I have talked to the great scar down at Best Buy before about what type of hard drive is the fastest drive you have in store. Well, they told me if you want a much speedier computer is to go with the SSD. But the problem is the SSDs are wicked expensive and I am not paying a whole lot for a SSD. For now, I still have my mechanical hard drive, uh, one terabyte uh, drive, the original drive that came with this computer, but basically I am showing you the original digital laptop uh, replacement drive I'm using is external. Basically I want to show you something. Look at that dudes. 5400 RPM speed basically. This drive is a very slow hard drive, not the fastest drive. Okay, and you can use it for Windows and Macs, uh, very nice. And if you're curious, I do have the specs uh, for my computer on this piece of paper. If you're curious of what my model is, there she is. Okay, there's the processor it has, there's the RAM, video. Okay, but look right down here. One terabyte, uh, five four hundred RPM mechanical hard drive, and DVD, and all sorts of different stuff. A two band uh, wireless card, uh, AC, and Bluetooth. Very nice. And by the way, I did look this up of this show but I got this computer last year a year ago and this computer is too slow hmm wonder why this is all that came with it a lot of people think because well why don't you just adjust everything in settings you could do that too if I wanted to put a fastest SSD in this computer, well, what's the point of upgrading 
to a SSD when this computer is audio on your old machine. Uh, basically, here's the problem. This is Windows 10. This ain't Windows 7. This actually came with the Windows 10 uh, operating system pre-installed on this computer. Means I may still have pre-installed crap oil from wonderful Microsoft, HP, and also own companies crap in this computer. But let's go ahead and show you what I mean. It's still a nice computer. Does have a sexy blue keyboard. Very nice. Good old MV here. There's the i7. And if we look over here, it's still booting. Still loading crap in the background. This slow ass piece of shit. But basically, it's not a bad computer if you want to get something done. Well, this ain't the computer for you. Because you have to wait when it's done loading its crap in the background. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the icons. She has all the icons I got. Not that many. But let's go to the control panel. Okay, it does have a touch screen. Uh, that's also what's nice. And let's go into remove programs and files. Alright, there's basically all the new stuff from this show. And also all the old crap from last year. Like I said, still loading, still booting. Piece of crap, Windows 10, should I say. Even if I go into settings to change stuff or do what I need to do, basically this computer will be still a slow computer. Man, it's still a nice computer, but it's freaking slow. Alright, yes, I still have all the paperwork for this laptop I bought one year ago from Best Buy. Now remember, Best Buy is a good store, but sometimes the Geek Squad does not always fix the issue with your computer. Sometimes you would have to bring it back multiple times before you can figure out how to fix it. Now if you're very good with computers, you can probably fix it yourself. But what the issue is, this computer is too slow, and yes, it's probably still booting up, should I say. If you can see, that's still loading. I don't know why. That's still booting. And yes, here is the lovely old Geek Squad photos from Best Buy. You can see, that's the paperwork for you. Now, if you're curious on how much I really truly spent on this hunk a piece of poo, uh, should I say, still a nice computer, but HP has gone downhill, basically. But let's show you. It's basically a thing right now, tubes. Okay. It's total on how much I spent for this silly computer one year ago. But yeah, still an okay computer. But again, I don't have a lot of crap on this computer. But it's still a bit fiddly sometimes. Now I can put a SSD in this computer and make this computer faster if I want. But, there you go. That's what my one terabyte looks like. But, still a slow computer. Not the best computer, and not the best editing machine, should I say. Just to let you know, my computer is still running very slow. It's not booting up any faster. But basically, I still have to wait when the computer decides to do what it uh, needs to do. And yes, I did took it down multiple times to Best Buy. But you don't always fix the problems with your computer. It all pretends 
on the type of freaking hard drive you're using. Uh, like I said before, if you are using a slow mechanical hard drive, like in any computer, the computer will slow down over time because it's just a mechanical hard drive. What's inside of each computer you get down at Best Buy. Sometimes these computers can cost the play a fortune and you gotta figure out why do you still have a mechanical drive? Why do you don't have SSD in them? Well, because companies like to save money. Okay? This computer, I spent almost $1,200 in cash for this computer back in the day. Uh, one year ago, should I say. But you know what? Don't always criticize Best Buy's uh, policy and warranty. Sometimes they don't always help. Sometimes you have to figure out the problem with your computer. If you want to put an SSD in it, you can put an SSD in it and also reinstall Windows 10. That's also what came with this computer. It's just a pain in the butt, but you know what? You just got to figure out what you want out of your computer. Do you want performance? Do you want speed? Do you want light and fast editing? I would definitely switch the mechanical hard drive to a SSD, basically on this computer. Well, there you go. There's why I still bitch and complain a little bit about this computer. Still running slow, should I say. Alright, if you guys and girls are subscribing to this channel, please that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Alright, catch you later. To all my fans.